Okay, today we're going to be doing port forwarding. You start by clicking start, run, you type in CMD. You get a window that pops up. In that, you type IP config slash off. This will give you all the information you're going to need to forward your ports, mainly your IP address, your subnet mask, your default gateway, and your DNS server. Now, you take your default gateway IP and you open up your internet browser. You type that IP in. They'll usually ask you for a username and password. Depending on your router, it might be a blank username, admin password, or admin admin. Once you get into this, you're going to want to look for the port forwarding tab. And it'll usually have a couple boxes. One will ask for the application name, um, starting port, the ending port, protocol, the IP address to forward to, whether or not it's enabled. Um, doesn't matter what you put in as the application name, ports you get, you can look at the manual for whatever game, and it'll tell you which ports need to be forwarded in order to host. You put those in, select the protocol, if you're not sure, select both. And for the IP address you want to forward to, you want to select the IP address you got from the command prompt. Make sure it's enabled, hit save settings. And you go ahead and you look at your DNS server's IP. And you go and type that in. <coughs> this will give you your modem's web interface. You log in as admin. Go to setup. Go to port forwarding. You want to do the same sort of thing. Select the same ports same protocols, except for the IP you're going to forward it to, you instead want the default gateway IP rather than your computer's IP. This will allow it, when a packet comes from the internet, hits your modem, you tell the modem to forward it to your router, then your router forwards it to your computer. And you save the settings, and you're all set go do, play games, whatever you need to do, and have fun. Hopefully this one's easier on the ears for all you uh, foreigners out there.